am Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A happy Deepavali to everyone. With an intention to spread brightness in our patients' lives, Ziva Fertility Centers is offering IUI in a package. Usually when we talk about IUI, the cost goes up because of consultation, scans, medications and also the IUI procedure per se. The same things are being offered in this IUI package at a price of 14,990 now. The numbers that you see on the screen are our appointment lines. Please book a slot. Thank you. I am Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Very often after an embryo transfer, patients ask us if bed rest is compulsory for improving the chances of pregnancy. This is what we need to discuss. The necessity of bed rest after embryo transfer in IVF has been a topic of much debate. While early recommendations often suggested a period of bed rest after the procedure, current research and clinical guidelines suggest that extended bed rest is not necessary and may not improve IVF outcomes. So let's look at uh, what the key findings were on bed rest after an embryo transfer. There is no significant improvement in pregnancy rates according to studies that have shown that bed rest after embryo transfer does not improve the chances of successful implantation or pregnancy rates. A randomized controlled trial published in Fertility Study in 2005 found no significant difference in pregnancy outcomes between women who rested for 24 hours after embryo transfer and those who returned to normal activities shortly after the procedure. But is normal activity safe? Many fertility specialists now recommend resuming normal light activities immediately after embryo transfer. Mild movements and everyday activities do not disrupt the embryo's ability to implant as the uterus naturally holds the embryo in place. However, it is suggested to avoid heavy exercises, lifting or activities that may cause extreme physical strain. There is a psychological impact of bed rest because bed rest after embryo transfer can increase stress and anxiety, especially for women who are highly focused on the outcome of IVF cycle. It's important to stay relaxed, but remaining immobile can create unnecessary emotional strain, which may negatively impact overall well-being. Moving around definitely will improve blood circulation and implantation but this has to be done gently after embryo transfer and it can actually promote better blood flow to the uterus which is beneficial for implantation. Extended bed rest may lead to reduced circulation and therefore may not be ideal for supporting the uterine environment. So what are the practical recommendations after embryo transfer? Relax but move. You can resume light activities such as walking, cooking or working at a desk job. Avoid strenuous activities, refrain from heavy lifting, high impact exercises or any activities that could elevate your heart rate too much. Stay hydrated and eat balanced diet. Good nutrition and hydration helps support your body's natural process during the implantation window. Manage your stress well. Engage in activities that help you relax such as meditation, light stretching or spending time with your loved ones. This can be beneficial for a better implantation rate. There is no scientific evidence supporting the need for bed rest after embryo transfer. In fact, normal gentle movement is encouraged and uh, it improves circulation and reduces stress. The key is to avoid strenuous activities while maintaining a calm, balanced lifestyle during this crucial phase. If you wish to know more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you. Thank you.